Hey guys, this is Toffin, and I got my amazing coin shop haul today. For everything here except this, we'll talk about in a second. I only paid twenty dollars. Actually, I paid twenty one seventy five, but I said I'll just do twenty. Let's start here. He charged a dollar for Indian heads. I mean, depending on which one, he has like some nice nineteen oh sevens that were two dollars. It depends, but these ones were just. He's charged a dollar. It, it depends on which one. This is a 1896. It has some odd toning, or I don't know. They're not. I. They're not the best. This has like some rainbow toning, or it's like not fully circulated. It's. It, it's I mean, not fully beat up. You know, it still has that nice copper color. That's. I'm not sure. Seventy-five cent V nickels. This is depending, like, he sold me an 1883 for $4, but these are 70, $0.75. Cent. And, come on, you cannot pee it past the $0.75 cent V nickels. That's dirt cheap. And the, he said they're all common, but he has others. 1903, I mean, that's pretty a bad back, but 1903, 1907, the front's pretty slick. 1911, this one has actually part of the, you can see the, you know, the rim, in rim, right there. You can still see it, 1911. 1912, but this is the Philadelphia, because if there was to be a mint mark, it is not there. So, that's pretty cool. I also got this, my dad actually, this is my dad's, it's going to be, not mine. Um, he got this, uh, 1890, uh, what the fuck? They gave him it in this 2x4, which is unusual, but he got this 1894 Barber Quarter. I mean, the front's pretty, like, AG free grade, but the back's, like, G4 to F8, maybe G6, so I'm sorry about this camera work. Now let me show you. Look at this back. It is beautiful, but the front's kind of, it has this kind of, like, odd color. I don't know how to describe it, but it's, like, it's, like, been sitting in this thing. It, but it wasn't there. Now, here's a really nice barber dime he sold for $3. I mean, 1909 Philadelphia, but that thing is blinging in condition. I mean, you get barber coins in this condition, it's really rare. So, I got this. This is a really nice coin right here. This is not from the coin shop, but I, I bid on this. Um, uh, Coin that I won for ten fifty. I got an eighteen fifty three with arrows seated dime. The guy seemed more than happy to send it, so I only paid ten fifty. And this thing's in blinging and beautiful condition for seated Liberty seated coin. Hopefully it's not fake. And then again, I doubt it. Someone was commenting on how I I like to like. With the lightning, I like the... Oh, there's the zoom. There you go. These... Oh, we can almost read fully Liberty. Fully... can almost fully read Liberty. And that's really beautiful. And this is a steel. These were steels, but this is a nice steel. I have this $2 red seal. The 1953 star note. You're not going to guess how much I paid. I paid $5. So, and he gave me this thing. The money currency protector. I'm going to take it out. I mean, it's circulated, but still, a star note from 1953. I mean, it's not the worst, but not the best. I mean, my dad has some of these, but they're, like, teared up. They have tears in them, these uh, um, red seals. So, this is pretty nice. You only charge $5, and you're like, oh, I have to have it. Because just on eBay, just alone, the red seals, they want 6 bucks for those. But this is a star note. And it's a 1953. So that's simply my coin haul. Small but nice. I'm gonna, I plan on, actually plan on picking up a large cent. Uh, those, he sells a 1838 for 22, so I'll just give him 20 bucks for it, I guess. Because what a random number. Yeah, I'll give him 18. I'll give him 18, but I'll give him 20. He also has a, a bunch of large cents, actually. Maybe like 10 of them. No half cents. I mean, some of his prices are not fair. Some are fair. Um, 
But I think I got a good deal. What do you think, guys? I mean, this is really nice. $5 red seal. This is for my dad. This is not really a deal, but this is just for his collection. I guess he wanted it. I don't know why. I thought he just... Also, his collection is basically pulled from circulation. Um, his dad owned a... Uh, like a some stores. He owned like a restaurant in, in the 19... 40s or something then in the 50s to 1970s and then he owned a uh, I guess you say party store so he got some cool stuff I mean he's got a lot of Ben Franklin's from there he's got a, he actually has a cap bust from 1835 he has a seated um, have those are halves for 1858 70 yeah these are some really nice just imagine that 166 I don't know exactly yeah it is 166 year old coin Beautiful as fuck. Look at that. It's, it's like so amazing. Same thing with this guy. I mean, if you can see the reef on his head. His... Did I just say a sexist statement? I don't know. Liberty. That's liberty. So isn't that liberty a girl? A failed society. Sorry. On it. We're going to say. I'm sure liberty's a, a female. So uh, let's say her. Even though it does not look like it. I'm so stupid. So this is Liberty. So her reef is still there, present. Unlike this one, you see, this is you basically cannot see the reef. Yeah, that's beautiful for a bar. These barbers wear really bad, and he said that's good. So three dollars. I mean, I'll take a barber dime for three dollars in beautiful shape. Anyways, thanks for watching. Stop, and I'm out.